So do you ever usually drink beer when you're cutting someone's hair? I don't usually do it, but I'm not opposed to it. I think I might be a little bit opposed to it if you're using clippers. <laughs> You'll be fine. We're in Atlanta, Georgia, the peach state. This city was once burned to the ground and it rose from the ashes just like Phoenix. Just like our TV show. Hell yeah. And we're going to kick things off with a beer tasting in a barber shop. Great, I could do a haircut. I haven't been to a barber shop in like 15 years. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Venice. Hey, I'm James. Uh, Jake, which one of y'all is getting a haircut? Me. Uh, it looks <laughs> like it. <laughs> um, can you do something with this mop? Yeah, we can take care of him. So Martin's here at the moment. In your professional opinion, how highly would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Probably like a negative 2. <laughs> Negative two? Yeah, oh, at the moment, but we're gonna, we're gonna knock it back up to a 10, though. Negative two to 10, that sounds good. <laughs> so you should give Martin a haircut to make him look completely Atlanta, and whilst you're doing that, we can taste some beers. Sounds like a plan, let's do it. So do you ever usually drink beer when you're cutting someone's hair? I don't usually do it, but I'm not opposed to it. I think I might be a little bit opposed to it if you're using clippers. <laughs> Martin, you'll be fine. Cheers. That's not bad. Martin? Good aroma. And is it normal for customers to drink beer when you're cutting their hair? In Atlanta, there's no such thing as normal. <laughs> we don't even have that word in our vocab. It's quite thick and bushy, isn't it? It's very thick and bushy, but that's a good thing. I mean, it could be more similar to you. Oh, <laughs> 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 like a boiled egg. <laughs> right. <laughs> Martin actually used to have a ponytail. Like a Steven Seagal ponytail? I got confused for Steven Seagal many times. <laughs> <laughs> what, just in the supermarket? Yeah. This is all right right here, man. The small sip I had was delicious. Oh, would you like some more? Yep. That was a very subtle way to ask for it. Hell yeah. Fill her up. I need y'all to come back every month. This is awesome. Jay, this is, uh, this is your beer here? Appreciate it. And uh, you putting some kind of design in the side of my head? Not at all. Oh, you're just very... Now, we're going to keep this haircut uh, very professional, okay, classic. traditional and classic. Keep it vintage. Smart, how much of this 10.5% beer in this glass would you like to enjoy in one sip? Ha. Ah. OK. <laughs> if he's going to give you more than half. You're having a wheel of a time. It's the best morning of my life. You're going to buy me another cape if you drool on it one more time. <laughs> Is that line that Superman never, ever said? <laughs> <laughs> Martin, I've known you for 20 years. This is the best haircut I think you've ever had. He actually looks a little handsome now, right? He came, he came in ugly as hell. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know how to compliment a man. <laughs> You're going to be dope, litty, in Magic City. There you go. You're you learning well. You're ready for the city, man. Going from minus two to let you do. Jay, thanks for making Martin look like a superstar. Thanks Anytime. for drinking some phenomenal beers with Appreciate us and giving us an insight into this city.